what can we expect of the future? And obviously, none of us, including myself, can answer that question. But the only way we can try to address the question is by going back into the past. If you take things like diseases, where are they coming from? Why do we carry those diseases? What is the story behind that? Understanding this history is crucial also to understand the differences in disease susceptibility across different populations. And therefore also, of course, are important to how to treat them. SK is very passionate about his science. So he relishes the approach that we can learn so much from our past. My vision for this project is to create a number of genome panels. So I want to create an ancient human panel over the last 10,000 years. I want to create an ancient pathogen panel from the same skeletons over the same period. So how old are these? What, these, what are, period? these are from the medieval period. Yeah. So Retrieving genomes from ancient remains. It's a direct glimpse, it's a snapshot into the past. And it's very powerful because in the genome, a lot of information. I think it will be a major resource for the scientific community that are interested in everything from environmental changes, pathogen evolution, human evolution, the interactions between these different things. Illumina is a healthcare catalyst, but I'm personally most excited about the potential to make an impact on mental health. One of the reasons why we're focusing on mental health, it's really a huge problem in the modern Western society. The number of lives we can touch is staggering. The project holds the potential to change the way we understand these disorders, to erase the stigma. Next generation sequencing is without any doubt the invention that had the greatest impact on the field of ancient DNA. The sequencing is so massive with the Novasig, which completely changed the way we are running things in the lab because of the high throughput. It revolutionized this field, and it's really that simple. What used to be unimaginable a decade ago is now a reality, and we are just getting started. I would say I started out being interested in being an explorer. The past has always fascinated me because the past is the answer to why we are where we are today. How did we become who we are?